the bleach bypass technique is from the days of filmmaking with film and it was when transparency film was used and the bleach part of processing was missed out and it creates a kind of desaturated look where texture really pops out and it works really well for stills photography. So let's take a look at how it's done in Affinity Photo. Before we get started, my new book, The Digital Darkroom, The Definitive Guide to Photo Editing in Adobe Photoshop and Affinity Photo is now available. For more information about the book and to order your copy, follow the link in the video description. So here I have my original image and you know, it looks fine as it is, but by using Bleach Bypass, we can just make some of these textures and tones pop out and just reduce the saturation of the background ever so slightly. So it just makes the elements of this particular image tie together really well. So the first thing that you need to do is click on the adjustment layer icon, which is the half white, half black circle at the bottom of the layers panel, and then select levels from the list of options. So all we need to do now is take the white level down to 75. So that's increasing the white point and making whites much brighter. You'll see there we're blowing them out, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna change the blending mode from normal to multiply, which is a darken blending mode. So that's gonna play against that brightness. It's still too dark, but don't worry. We're gonna look at that in a moment. Next up, we just need to create a black and white adjustment layer. For this one, just immediately close down the dialog and then we're gonna set the opacity to 40%. And then next up, we just need to go to the adjustment layer icon again, and this time select curves, and then just left mouse click in the center of the curve and then drag up and to the left until the brightness of the image is roughly about where it was originally. So that's looking good there. So if I just close that dialog down. So now we can control the overall effect, but to do that, we just need to group all of these layers. So the curves adjustment is currently highlighted and active. So if I just hold down shift and click on the levels adjustment and then press control and G, and that's grouped all of those layers together. So we can just rename that group bleach so we know what it is and then we can control the overall effect using the opacity slider. So it really depends on the image and your personal taste as to how high you want it to be. But for this shot here, so that the effect is noticeable, but it isn't too strong, an amount of 50% works really nicely. So that is how to apply the bleach bypass effect in Affinity Photo.